Double toot. Hi hey guys, Vimpick here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this and this. The Oceanus from Inakin. What is it? It is a 2700 um, battery mod, a 2700 regulated mod, 110 watts of power available in this. Um, comes with loads of cool stuff, this thing. Um, it comes with two inside the kit. You can choose the kit with either the Scion tank, uh, which I've re reviewed independently. There's a link in the description to that. and Or you can have it with the iSub, uh, which, uh, again, I've re reviewed independently. Uh, and there's a link in the description to that. Um, you can have it with either. Now, if you're a really cloudy vapor, you probably want the uh, Scion kit. If you're less cloudy, you might want to look at the iSub kit. Um, but it's a 2700 battery regulated mod, which means it's taller than you would uh, usually expect, but it has longer battery life than an 18650 and a higher amp rating than an 18650. It's their first attempt at this. Uh, you can literally access the batteries uh, by pulling off this door. Now, inside the kit, you get absolutely loads of stuff. Uh, you get two batteries, both with uh, silicon covers as well, so you can have them protected out and about. Really cool. I've never seen that done before in terms of two batteries in the kit uh, for a single cell uh, mod. That's really cool, really nice touch. Um, it, the Scion kit comes with an RBA head for the Scion as well, which is really cool. I might do a separate build video for that, uh, but it looks fantastic. It looks just like an RTA deck, which is great. Um, so it comes with a plethora of stuff and options and all that all that type of stuff. Um, it comes with the Atheon board that we are familiar with from the Cool Fires and the MVPs. Um, but they've put a few little upgrades on that as well. They've done a few little improvements to the Atheon board. Uh, but with the Atheon board, you know you are getting um, accurate wattage output. So um, let's go down low and have a look at these brand new mods from Inakin. Let's go. All right, guys, here we are down low with the Oceanus kit from Inakin. This is the ice of one. This is the white one. Uh, pretty, pretty good packaging. Uh, all, you know, all pretty standard. Nice big box. Uh, slide in her open like that reveals this big section here. And opening it up, you get uh, two sides. This says accessories, but it's actually all just the paperwork, the manuals and uh, warranties and all that stuff. Uh, on th this side, however, though, uh, we get it all. We get the tank, we get the mod, you get two 2700 batteries, which is very cool indeed, uh, and you get a spare iSub um, coil if you get the iSub one. If, uh, if you get the um, Scion version, you actually get this. This is an RBA deck for the Scion, and it looks a really good one as well. I'm, I'm thinking about doing a, a separate video, a build video for that um, RBA head. Might be useful to some people. Uh, but there you go. Yes, yeah, so those are, uh, that's what you get in the box. So let's. Uh... let's pinch this out of here. Speaking of the batteries, let's just uh, cover that straight away. These are the batteries that you get with it now. Um, Amp King, uh, Amp King will be in some way affiliated or connected or owned by Inakin. Um, they are providing the batteries for this kit. I don't know much about these cells, um, but they say on them that they're 3000 Ma and 30 Amp, uh, which is pretty consistent with what all the other 20, uh, 2700 batteries are saying. Um, I've not had any problems with them. Uh, they haven't been amazing battery life wise or anything like that. But um, yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get. Uh, in terms of chargers, all I can tell you is that uh, mine, uh, my 2700s are fitting in the S SYB charger that I use all the time, and it fits in one of my night cars as well. Um, but it's a little bit random as to which chargers these fit well in, so there we go. Uh, looking at the mod, let's have a look at the mod. So, uh, we've got our door on the side here. You literally pop that open like that. 
and uh, you just slide it into this bay here uh, positive up like that and now uh, you can see it powering on slip your door back on uh, there's not really any play in this door there's certainly no noise or rattle um, it's a pretty nice fitting door I've got to say that um, so that's that so we're now in and we're now off okay so Oceanus on the side screen here the typical Atheon screen that we are used to minus and plus buttons uh, two amp charging here it's got the Inican uh, light on the button that we are used to um, that goes uh, amber and red as the battery goes lower we've got our spring loaded 510 here 25 mil atomizers will fit on here a few holes for venting there uh, and on the other side it just says uh, Inican as you can see so that is a, a look around it in terms of the board uh, what we've got here is we're in wattage mode and we're in wattage we're in mod n mode here so if we go minus and plus we're in mod p wattage mode minus and fire sorry uh, we're in mod p which is power so it has normal mode and power mode and we're now in power mode uh, from there if you want to uh, switch it to for example voltage mode you can plus and fire takes you into voltage mode and pressing it again bypass mode pressing it again and we're back round to wattage in power mode no TC on this uh, interesting move by Anakin to not have TC on this um, it uh, I mean the Atheon boards TC has always been fantastic but uh, yeah, they've decided, I don't know if they've decided no one uses TC, or I don't know, there's no TC on this, just the voltage wattage bypass, and then you can have powerful wattage or normal wattage. Um, so what it's doing is like a boost, you know, like hard and soft, you know, on the yee -he boards. It's doing that, basically. Uh, so that is what we've got going on here. We'll stick the tank on so you can have a look at that. Obviously, the I-sub tanks are quite short, so you can see that there's uh, there's room on the edge there. Uh, but that is the uh, that is it in uh, the ISUB mode. Also have this one here. This is the black one with the sinus on top, uh, going strong there. And that's the black one. And as you can see, nice and flush on uh, on the side here. So let's go back up top. Okay, guys, that was the Oceanus kit up close from Inakin. Now, very quickly, uh, touching on the tanks, like I say, uh, full description, full reviews in the description, so check those out. Um, in terms of which kit you want to pick, it depends how you vape. If you're a lower wattage vapor, then the iSub might be the way to go. Uh, the great thing about the iSub is it has a real wide range of coils available. Uh, Canthal, nickel, stainless, titanium, horizontal vertical clapton you name it it has a wide range of coils available which is really cool uh, it vapes pretty nice pretty nice indeed my only two little gripes with the isub uh, range of tanks is um, i tend to find it struggles to wick over 70 vg um, shouldn't be a problem really the way you're vaping this thing but um, yeah maybe uh, over 70 vg i've it struggled a tiny bit with wicking in the past um, the other slight niggle with this is the top fill. Uh, you've got it's a lot of cranking to get that top fill on and off. Uh, it's a lot of turns, there's a lot of threads on that top cap. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit of a thing as well. But very solid, and that is your option. I think if you're a slightly lower wattage vapor, I think that's the one to go for. If you are a cloudy vapor, you're going to want the Scion tank. Uh, this one is the very powerful uh, coil. Uh, sub -ohm tank from Inican. This is their big cloud machine. Um, my only slight gripe with this one is that uh, the 0.5 heads, 0.5 heads, 70 to 110 watts. Um, now, 110 watts at 0.5 is like six and a half volts or something. Uh, so, you know, that seems a strange choice to me. If you're going to do an over 100 watt coil head maybe lower the resistance you know 0 0.25 0 0.2 something like that just to keep you within that sort of sensible voltage range you know i don't know maybe that's just me i'm actually at 55.5 watts with this and i'm enjoying the vape really tasty and nice at 55 so i don't know if you have to go as high as 70 anyway but uh that's my experience, you know, that's a strange choice, 0.5 ohms for a 110 watt coil head, in my opinion. 
so that's the tanks out of the way. Full reviews in the description of those. Uh, and I've given you a little look at down low as well anyway. Um, so, But that is that. The mod itself. Now, first thing. First thing. Uh, now, this has plagued Inakin reviews uh, for quite some time. The 510 goes flush. You can screw your atomizers onto here down flush. Well, hey, hallelujah. Uh, fantastic stuff from Inakin. Really pleased that they've done that. Um, it's just, yes, fantastic. That's how we like it. That's how we like it. So that is a big plus. So if that was putting you off previous versions of Inakin kit, uh, do not worry no more because uh, it now works a treat. Um, so that's great. In terms of negatives for this thing, I can't fault it at all. In a in a, ma a long, long list of ways, I cannot fault this. There are none of the obvious drawbacks and niggles that I've experienced with Inican products in the past. Build quality has always been fantastic. Um, the board, the output, the TC accuracy, everything has always been fantastic with this Atheon board. It's a really solid board. If I was to nitpick a tiny, tiny little thing, I would say maybe it's time for a fancier screen. But there you go. That's a purely optional thing and a very slight thing as that. And it doesn't bother me at all. But I know that so many mods are coming with really fancy screens now. And we're still using the same screen on here as we were quite a while back. So that's a little thing. Beyond that, though, I can't fault this mod. I think it's fantastic. 2,700 batteries. In these type of mods, in my opinion, is awesome, especially when you've got that two amp charging as well. Uh, so if you're charging it via the mod, which I don't recommend, I do recommend putting it in a charger. Um, but if you do need to do that, it does it quite quick because it's two amp as well. So battery life, fantastic. The wattage capability as a result of having that extra amp to play with. Um, is excellent. I'm finding this mod a very, very suitable out and about mod. Now, obviously, it is taller than your typical 18650 mod. Uh, it is taller than that, and that's because of the battery. But uh, it's still very thin, still very slim, uh, and so it is very pocket friendly indeed. I genuinely believe this to be a, a superb mod. I think Inakin have done a superb job with this, and I can highly, highly recommend it. Even if you go to, go on to get the kit and not enjoy the tanks, other things are going to look great on this. Other things are going to work great on this. The mod is the most important thing when you're buying a kit. And I think this mod is fantastic. Wattage on point, voltage on point. Everything is great. The 510 is excellent. Uh, I'm loving the battery life from 2700. Um, I know some people have said they haven't felt the difference. I genuinely feel like I have. Um, I think it's great. I think it's a superb mod, this. Um, I really like the colours. I really like the white one. And the black one, really cool. Uh, you know the price point won't be out of line with Inakin. You know they nailed the price point on their stuff. Build quality as, is as good as it gets on the market with Inakin. Uh, I think it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. I'm really enjoying these. I'm using them a lot and really enjoying them. I've been Maven Vic, and I'll see you again soon.